So Magnus was playing black, starting with the Scandinavian. And then, yeah, knight f6 and bishop g4 is a Portuguese. And it's a gambit because white's able to hold on to the pawns. And then after e6, Magnus just unleashed like an amazing sequence of, I think it was opening prep. Pawn takes pawn, bishop, uh, knight c6 first, allowing e takes f7. So black loses casting rights, but has more things developed, including the king. And after bishop e3, bishop b4 with tempo, king f2, and then rook e8. And black is down a pawn, but has like most of the pieces in the game. And then it gets even better because after white's next move, Magnus did not slow down or hold back. Black to move here. Who can find the best move for black? I, I didn't look at notation before, but I, I think I'm remembering correctly that this, this move led to lots of fun. Yeah, good job to a few people in chat. Rook takes e3. Sacking the exchange. But it's getting rid of one of white's only developed pieces. And after king takes e3, knight takes d4. Sacking more material. Um, now, we should note if queen takes... What was black's idea? I actually have to think about this. <laughs> what was Black's idea? Probably queen e7. Queen e7, king f2, bishop c5. Or if knight e4, and then probably takes, and bishop c5 is still a threat. Let's verify that. Yeah, white's just getting toast. Ah, if king d2, rook d8, and there's no knight d5, because knight's pinned along with the queen. So it's just a flurry of tactics, like in Black's favor. So White tried to hide with the king, but now this diagonal is open, and White doesn't have a dark sword bishop. And then bishop c2. Oh no, White's queen. Material-wise, White's... It's still technically equal, but Black just has a much, much better position. So it's queen for rook, bishop, and pawn. But after queen e7, yeah, this knight's attacked. And then it was about checkmating the white king. Or just winning more material. Or just sacking more material. Rook e4. How many things did Magnus sack in this game? What a nice game. And white's just paralyzed in the final position. So I hope people enjoyed this game. Yeah, I think I think this may have been the only time Magnus played this opening. And the one time he does, he has an absolute brilliancy. Against a Grandmaster, too. Made it look so easy. Oh, Z Nation says, I come here for Eric games, not Magnus games. Okay, I'll try and deliver on more games that I play myself. All right, let's um, mix up the openings a little bit. Play a Scandi. Scandi is it's a relatively easy opening to learn compared to other defenses against e4. I'm playing this line. This is um, bishop g4 is called the Portuguese. A decently aggressive approach. F3, I think, is one of the main lines. Oh, goodbye, Tio Twaggy. I was working in six hours. Good luck with work. Thanks for stopping by. Pretty sure I was showing... I was showing a Magnus Carlsen game. Maybe from this variation? I'm trying to remember. Knight c6 is a move. Knight c6 is d5. There's some crazy lines here. I think I'll play knight c6. d5, knight b4 is interesting. This is very similar to the Icelandic gambit. The Icelandic, I think, is... 
What is Icelandic? It's like C4 first, I think. But I think the inclusion of like f3 and bishop f5 is, I mean, it should be favorable for black. So I'm essentially sacking the f7 pawn. And after it takes, I'll be down two pawns. Down two pawns here. But I have more development than white. White has all the pieces on the back rank. So this is actually a really cool gambit. I'm attacking this. I'm ready to play bishop b4 check with tempo. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact position Magnus had. I mean, just a few days ago, I was sharing like a really cool game he played in the pro chess league. I forget his opponent. He's playing like some 2500 rated grandmaster. I think the game went bishop e3, bishop e4, knight here, rook here, king here. And then Magnus found a brilliant move after king f2. Opponent taking their time. Yeah, I think it's already a very difficult position for white. Because like the pawn needs defending, but it, it's also necessary to develop the pieces. I think this is like the most natural looking move. We might see d5, but d5, I mean, I essentially have two threats to take the pawn, but also bishop b4, rook e8. Like both moves come with tempo. It's possible we'll see knight c3. I should like start calculating here because it's getting interesting. So rook e8, king f2. In the Magnus game, I'm pretty sure this still is a Magnus game. In the Magnus game, he took on e3. And then he had some move like taking on d4. And then if queen takes d4, then queen e7. I mean, I'm relying completely on memory here, along with a little bit of calculation. But I, I think this works. It's crazy to sack. I mean, to first sack two pawns, and then to sack the exchange, and now sacking a knight. All within the first 11 moves. But yeah, the point is after queen takes d4, queen e7, if the king runs this way, there's rook d8, and there's no knight d5 because the knight will be pinned. If king f2, I pin with bishop c5, queen would support c5. And after it takes queen e7, knight e4, I think I just take, and I'll be threatening bishop c5. I mean, it does really help that I I reviewed this Magnus game just a few days ago, so it's pretty fresh in memory. I'm pretty sure Magnus's opponent played King F2 in that game, or maybe maybe it was Bishop D3. Okay, well now I'm on my own. Um. Big time advantage though. And queen e7 is one option. Bishop c5 also looks very attractive. Yeah, I think I'll play bishop c5. It just poses a lot of issues for white. Like if takes, I take back, and that would be double check. And the king can't really run because I take and then the king has to align with my queen. Ooh. Okay, so the bishop's attacked. I 
looking for discoveries. So I'm calculating um, knight takes f3, king f3, bishop g4, I win the queen. And then knight f3, knight c5, I have queen d4. Wait, okay, so knight f3, knight c5, queen d4, king f3, bishop g4, king g3, knight h5. Is not quite mate because king h4. But then bishop takes queen with check. King h3, queen g4 mate. Or king g5, queen g4 mate. Even h6. h6 is almost checkmate, king f5. Yeah, let's take on f3. And this looks pretty stylish. Now queen d4. I think it's worse mate now. Oh, I didn't see king e2, but I have rook e8. I also have this and then this. There's also this move, which isn't a check, but it threatens mate in one. I think I'll play this move. Okay, I can win the queen. Oh, it's made in two. Okay. That was a nice game. That was a cool opening. Uh, GG to Rio 2018. Yeah, White played like one of the more testing variations against the Scandi. Uh, is F3. I guess we can say against the Portuguese. So what was the Magnus game? Was it after C4? Maybe it was after Bishop G4. Oh yeah, it was Magnus against Vybov. Okay, so... <laughs> Let me show this game, and let's just see how similar it is in the opening. So this is a Magnus Carlsen game. F3, and then e6, knight c6. As exact same line, bishop b4, king f2, rook e8. Ah, uh, except, yeah, in this game, knight c3 wasn't played, but it's still transposed because knight c3 is played next. And then the same idea. Engine says knight takes d4 is a plunder, but it's still winning. Best move, bishop c2. It's good to know for the future. Improvement over Magnus. Okay, knight d4 is um, also very winning. So engine gives equal here, except, yeah, I mean, this is much more fun to play with black. Already an edge for black. So knight e2 is the best try, but then knight b4. Yeah, I think, like, if I had this position as white, ah, g4. Yeah, there's some, like, computer line with g4 that might be good to know. Anyway, that was a fun game. If this goes on YouTube, I have to make some YouTube video. Because um, I, I showed this full Carlson game a few days ago. It'd be cool to do a, a mashup of showing the game and then playing like the opening.